So the fee concept of cost is average fixed cost, abbreviated AFC, which is that portion or that proportion of fixed cost that is spent on each unit of output or a single unit of output. It is calculated as total fixed cost divided by output. If you are given total fixed cost and output to calculate AFC, that is how you go about it. But if you are given values in averages, let's say you are given average total cost and you are given average variable cost to look for average fixed cost, it is simple. This is how you go about it. You say average fixed cost is equal to average total cost minus average variable cost. And then we have the last concept of cost, the last but not the least, average variable cost, which is that proportion of variable cost spent on each unit of output. It is calculated as total variable cost divided by output. Or, if you are given values in averages, you say average total cost minus average fixed cost. That will lead you to the average variable cost. Lastly, we have marginal cost. Marginal cost. Marginal cost simply refers to that extra expenditure that a firm incurs as a result of the production of one additional unit of output. When you produce one additional unit of output, the extra cost that you incur or you pay for or you sacrifice is what we call marginal cost. The additional change in total cost as a result of one change in output. So it is calculated in two ways. We have change in total cost all over change in output, you calculate it that way, or if output is consistently changing by intervals of one, let's say your output is one, two, three, four, five, six, consistently changing by intervals of one, you can simply do this. Instead of going through this long process, you can calculate marginal cost by saying that marginal cost is equal to Total cost 1, that is the very first total cost on your table, minus total cost 0, the previous total cost. You put the answer, total cost 2 minus total cost 1, the present total cost minus the previous total cost. And then you continue, total cost 3 minus total cost 2, you continue like that. But mind you that you use this formula only if output persistently changes by one. Take note. Okay. So we are going to have a diagram that illustrates all of this concept of cost, but I will illustrate average total cost, average variable cost, and marginal cost on one diagram because they are very important and there is a strong relationship that exists between marginal cost and average total cost. Okay, so we want to draw the marginal cost curve together with the average total cost curve. We know that we already saw our average total cost curve having a U-shape. Average total cost, or we call it average cost. It has a U-shape. And then the marginal cost curve always begins from below the average total cost curve. And it cuts across the average total cost curve at its lowest point, which we call the technical optimum output level. So that is it. This is the lowest point of average total cost and marginal cost cut across that point. This is our marginal cost. And then your average variable cost curve must always occur below or appear below the average total cost curve. Why? Because it is a combination of average variable cost and average fixed cost that make up the average total cost. So it should always appear below it average variable cost and what matters most here is the relationship between mc and ac we are going to see more of that as we move on